In this video, I'll show the three simple yet impactful reasons that make my notebook and pens the literal most important physical tools I own for earning a living. At its base level, earning money means getting paid to solve challenges. In practical terms, the often detested word sales is what enables this to happen. And most of us have a negative knee-jerk reaction to the word sales because we think of the sleazy used car salesman. But even if your profession is not in sales, implementing a system for sales like the one I'm about to share is even tremendously powerful when you are trying to tackle a completely personal challenge. So whether you are an entrepreneur selling your product or service, or an employee seeking a larger than standard raise from your boss, or hell, convincing your squad to go to Vegas instead of New York for the group trip, this video will arm you with a strong springboard framework. But what does all of this have to do with a notebook? Huh? One, putting pen to paper is inherently faster than typing when approaching a new challenge, especially since the act of solving new problems is non-linear, iterative, and process-driven. Meaning, we don't really know the solution just yet, but we know that there's where we are now and where we want to be. The in-between stuff is the force we need to carve a path through. So page execution one is called challenge definition. This is used for discovery meetings, whether it's with yourself or with others. And there are five buckets of information I need to fill, beginning with the desired outcome. After all, every challenge is a challenge because we aren't where we want to be. What is the desired net result we are looking for? This is the starting point, the prism through which all other questions and answers revolve around. Next is the current state, as in what is the problem itself? The greatest value, and coincidentally the most important thing to draw out here, is whether what they're calling current problems are merely symptoms or if they are indeed the root challenge. Solving symptoms are just band-aids that enable the actual problem to continue to grow like a cancer. A common example for individuals of this symptom versus root challenge is in weight loss. Oftentimes, folks who don't see results in the gym address the symptom by working out more when the root problem is nutrition. A common example for businesses lie in advertising. Spending more on paid ads when the product itself is misaligned to the target customer's expectations. Third is to tease out the base hit to home run spectrum. This is one of the most powerful things to uncover because the desired outcome back in bucket one is their home run. But learning what a comparative base hit, double or triple to them would be lets them realize that any movement of the needle is a net positive. So when you deliver your solution proposal, you can structure various pricing tiers that anchor escalating value against what they define themselves. Next on this page execution is value assessment. And in the context of business, it's asking a series of honed questions that ultimately culminate in them telling you what solving the challenge is worth. Do you want a specific example? The automotive industry here in Canada and the States has a target for dealerships to average $1,000 of F&I sales for each car they sell, meaning things like extended warranties, rust protection, and that sort of thing. In one discovery meeting, teasing that challenge out and asking how many cars they sell led them to sharing that they move roughly 1,000 cars a year, which means hitting that target of $1,000 in extended warranties per car sold would equate to a million bucks in F&I revenue annually. Back in step two of this page execution, learning their current state, they share that they were averaging roughly $800 per car sold, which means they were losing $200,000 each year and every year against Target. In other words, if I could solve this challenge, that would represent a real value to them of 200 grand and not just once, but year after year after year. So when it comes time to price by solution in a future pitch, I know what the real value is to them because we worked out the math together. Last on this page execution is the decision-making tree. Even if I'm talking to the CEO or owner of a business who has the final decision-making authority, it goes a long way to learn about who they trust to advise them on decisions. Same thing in personal life. If I want to propose marriage to a woman, she obviously has the final say, but her decision-making tree will at least be partially influenced by certain friends and family members. The second page execution is where going analog really shines and it's process design. The difficulty in sharing this type of page execution is that every single new challenge you discover that you can leverage to earn is unique. However, the main reason why a notebook is by far the most effective tool is because every solution is an unknown process, a series of steps that have yet to be determined and figuring out those steps is rarely linear. If we're tackling a new challenge, making a Google Doc or Word document in bullet point form is just plain unintuitive because it isn't linear, and on top of that, lacks the visual cues and necessary backtracking to determine the right path. 
The purpose of this process design page execution is to take what you learned in the discovery session where you completed the first page execution of defining the challenge and drawing the map from the current state to the desired outcome. As an example for the metal fabrication workshop, a client has a product they've designed with engineering drawings and specifications, but the challenge is that currently their manufacturing workflow is simply not economically viable. If you've been here for a bit, you have seen Eric pop up a few times here and there in my videos, but he is so smart and so experienced. And as we use the notebook to scribble down ideas to tackle the client's manufacturing challenges, I can then take those scribbles and start piecing together an actual end-to-end -end process to present to the client, a completely custom manufacturing assembly line that easily clears the numbers that they define in the value assessment portion of the discovery meeting. The point is, this page execution enables you to quickly and effectively work through and see at a glance how you will solve whatever challenge you discovered back in page execution one. I said in the introduction that there are three ways this notebook is the most important tool I own for earning a living. The first way is the challenge definition page execution. The second way is the process design page execution. The third way is actually executing against the plan. And if you are ready to do that, you will see the step-by-step -step guide in this video right up here. Literally any notebook will do the trick, but if you want to learn more about this specific notebook, this video down here is the one for you. I'll leave them both on screen so you can choose which one to watch, but while you're deciding, if you got value from this video, consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drops.